Okay, it looks like we have uh, Jim Kelly. Vice Mayor, Mayor uh, Detrick and City Council persons. Uh, I had hoped that I would not have to be here today. I looked through the agenda to see that uh, yet one more City Council meeting has gone by where you don't want to discuss the by district concept. So I'm going to ask you one more time, and I'll be back in two or three weeks and do it again, uh, to put the matter of the by district uh, initiative on the city ballot for November of 2018. Uh, I'm also here to update, and I, so I, I am asking each of you to do that, and if you would uh, talk about it before I leave, I would appreciate it. Um, I'm also here to update you and the city on how our effort is going. It's been two weeks since we uh, uh, met the requirement to be able to uh, pass petitions. Um, there are 10 volunteers out there who are collecting signatures. The math is that if we have 100 of them each collecting 100 signatures, we have the 10,000 signatures that we need to force the issue on the ballot uh, over your folks' unwillingness to do so. I did a little road test since the last council meeting. I spent about, um, about six to eight hours. I walked within three blocks of my house. I probably hit between 120 and 130 houses, 85 of which answered the door. I, that netted me 110 signatures. I did have five people who said no. So out of 110, I had five that said no. Um, Again, I said it took about six to eight hours. Um, one thing that stood out for me was that uh, I didn't have to walk very far and I didn't have to do a lot of uh, um, salesmanship. Uh, I had a couple of houses where I got some, uh, I'm not really sure I want to do that. And when I said, well, okay, let me add a little more to the pot, I said uh, there are four ways we could get to this by district concept and one of them is your city council could put it on the ballot and they've refused to do so. Uh, two of them have told me in so many words that the city doesn't need this and maybe the citizens don't really know what they want, but we don't want it. I had two of them grab my petition out of my hand to sign it. I had another person who was adamantly opposed to by district. Thought that was very interesting. Um, we talked about it a little bit and when I told him about your folks' position, he said, you know what, I'm still opposed to it. And I will get you 100 signatures because that's just not acceptable. We should be able to make this decision ourselves." So with having said that, um, I am here to tell you that we're still asking you to put it on the ballot. You have that ability. You, if I understand correctly, you need to approve it amongst yourselves to even put it on the uh, agenda. And then you can discuss it amongst yourself at a following board meeting. Um, so that's, that's my pitch. And if there's anybody here who would like to sign the petition, I will be out in the hallway. And if there's anybody who wants to pass petitions, I would appreciate that too. Thank you. Thank you. So first item I'll uh, address from public comment was Mr. Kelly. Uh, we have had this discussion for districts up here from the dais. Oh, I'm sorry, did I skip you? I'm sorry, I did. Councilman, yeah. go ahead. Mr. Kelly, since you're, you're still here, I'll tell you, I've signed, actually signed your petition. Uh, and so I, I, as I said to you when we met uh, offline, I don't necessarily have a dog in the fight. Uh, I don't see a flaw with the current system. I think there's actually uh, benefits to it, it, it kind of to uh, Council Member Wynn's point in that we have to be geographically diverse as council members, but we are accountable to the entire city uh, voting populace. Uh, however, if the voters decide that they'd rather uh, see it by district, then, then I would abide by that. Um, so essentially my position at this point is I'm, I'm waiting to see how much momentum uh, you get with that uh, petition because, as you mentioned to me, that with the petition you could put it on the uh, primary election that it would then take effect for the general election. And so if that's something that the voters really want, that's a, a path forward to, get, to getting it sooner. So I'm waiting to see how, how you do on that. Um, as a council, put it on the agenda and, and then vote on it. Not yet. Not yet. So we don't, we don't get to decide on a citywide basis then what we think is 
I'm, I'm saying I want to see how you do with your petition campaign to see if there really is an upswelling of folks that do want to see a, a change. Um, so I'm not saying that I wouldn't uh, vote to do that or ask to do that, but I'm, I'm letting you kind of do a little bit of the groundwork ahead of time. So I just wanted to wrap up with, the, with Mr. Kelly. We, we've had discussions up here in the past, and there's never been enough traction to bring this back as an item. Uh, there's pros and cons to both from a district, by a district. Uh, I know that uh, Randy was up here speaking earlier about the history back with the Board of Supervisors. He may be a good one to sit down and talk with and get his perspective. I don't know what his perspective is on districting, but if he goes back to the history of Sacramento County, the reason uh, the, the residents voted for this model was for the experience they had back at that time. From a historical standpoint, the residents didn't vote for this model as such because they didn't have any choice. So I've gone back and done that. Uh, I had a conversation with the lady that's going to run for mayor. She said to me, oh, I'm really happy that you're supporting this. This is so important that we do this. And I said, well, I think you've missed my point then. She said, what do you mean? I said, well, I'm not sure that I'm in favor of my district. I, I have evolved to the, to the point where I think it's more important that we put it on the ballot so that our fellow citizens can make that decision. Not five of you, but your fellow citizens. It doesn't have to be good, it doesn't have to be bad, and you can certainly argue your case once it gets on the ballot that you're opposed it or you're in favor of it. That is not my point. Make it clear. My point is the citizens of this city should have the right to make that decision, and the five of you are denying us that right. I don't care if you vote for it. I don't care if you put rotten things in the paper about it. And there are pros and cons. The point that you're missing is this is about the 100,000 folks that vote in this city having a right to decide for themselves what they want, not what you want. You're missing the point. What they want, not what you guys want. A little ray of sunshine, a little bit of sun. Just a touch